Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipsomstudios.co.uk and in this uh, Studio One Six video we are going to look at the powerful, insanely powerful new collaboration features for Personosphere members where you can collaborate offline with members of workspaces, either members that you add through this process or members that um, you already have of existing workspaces. So this is incredibly powerful and it basically means that when you create a song and you share it via this process I'm going to show you, um, the song can be synced between the workspace and your local computer and your collaborator's local computers and you can send and receive files to keep the song up to date. Um, so if people are adding different parts, um, they will send them and then you will hit the receive button and I will show you how to do all of that. And um, that will keep your song uh, in sync with everybody. So everybody will have the, the same updated file and emails get, um, will be sent out to the email addresses of your collaborators um, so that they know that new files are available, that new updates have been made and they can go and receive those. All right, so let's get into this. So here is my vocoder song that we've been using for showing the vocoder in previous videos. It's really very cool. All right, so what I want to do is I want to um, I want to share this to a workspace so that I can have people add like a guitar part or or some horn section parts or something like that to this to this little um, twelve bar song. It's, it's essentially a twelve bar blues. So if I go file collaboration. And I go to see, we've got these options here. We've got join, we've got share, we've got send and receive, but I want to go to share. The document will be saved for this operation. Would you like to proceed? Yes. And then um, this is my list of workspaces that I've got here. Um, and what I can do is I can create a new workspace or I can add it to an existing workspace that I've already got. I'm going to create one and there's my new collaboration workspace and this is the suggested title for it and I'm going to keep that. There's me, I've just created this and I can invite other collaborators here by filling out this um, box here and hit invite and this will allow me to add other people to this and I can either do this now or I can do this um, via Personosphere. I can uh, in the Personosphere workspace itself. Um, I can uh, add people to the workspace that way. I don't have to do it right now. So I'm going to say yes to this. So I'm going to hit select. And now it's going through this process. And then it says this will upload new and updated files to share them with your collaborators. And it shows the local folder on my computer. And the remote location, collaboration, vocoder group. All right, so this is the workspace. That's the folder for this song. And then I can click details here, and this will show what's been uploaded. So there's a bunch of autosaves there. And then there's the tracks itself and the song. So we've got the media, we've got the song, we've got everything we need. And if I'm ready to go ahead with this, let me just collapse that then I can just hit start. And depending upon your internet speed, it'll upload these um, within a reasonable amount of time. And there we go, it's done. So now this has been synced, it's all set up in the workspace and I can now close this. All right, so we are done for creating a collaborative session. But how does this work for those that are going to be collaborating with me? Let's say that I have now added them, which I didn't do, but if I had done, if I had added them, um, then what they would need to do is they would get an email notification saying, hey, you've been added to this collaboration. And then there are some steps in the email um, that they need to do to accept and join the workspace. So in Studio One, 
if you were the collaborator, you would go to collaboration and you'd hit the join button or you can go to the start page and you can hit this join button, which we talked about, <clears throat> which we talked about in um, the overview video. And I said I was going to make a dedicated video to this and here we are. So we would now hit this and um, all the workspaces appear. And as you can see, there's there's our new one, um, which I obviously cannot select because I'm already here. But if I had just been sent an invite to join this workspace, then this select button would not be grayed out and I could select this. And then Studio One will automatically create a folder for the document. Um, now, when the document type cannot be determined automatically, a dialog box will appear saying, um, you know, do you want to select this look um, a different location? And then you'll see the confirmation window, which is what we saw before when we were setting up the collaboration. You'll see it pretty much the same dialog box. Uh, and then all you need to do is click start and then it will download the song and all of the um, media files and everything else that, you're, that um, the song needs to reference in order to work. And then that's you. You are ready to collaborate. And it will appear in this shared section here. You'll see all of these. There's the Vocoda Groove. So this is my new workspace. And I can select this. I can open this song. And then um, I can add uh, something else to it. I can add a guitar solo. I could add, if I was a reasonable guitar player, I could add a guitar solo, or I could add a trumpet solo or a saxophone solo or something else to this, or I could expand the arrangement a bit. And then I would save the song. And then what I would do to have it update so that the other people in the collaboration can receive those files, I would need to send them to the workspace. So in that case, you go collaboration, and then you'd go send. And that will send the um, new files up into the song. So if I've added things like guitars, horns, vocals, backing vocals, whatever I've added or anything that I have changed in the song, then when I hit send, it will update the song in the workspace. And then those that have collaborated with me on this particular song, they will get an email saying, hey, the song has been updated. The collaboration folder has been updated. There's new stuff. And then what they can do is they can, great, let's get Studio One up and running. So you open Studio One 6, and then you'd go collaboration, and you'd go receive, and you'd get the dialog box that we got before for setting up the collaboration in the first place. But this time, you would be receiving the updated files for that song. So... If I have added a guitar solo or one of my other collaborators has added a guitar solo or whatever they've added to it, I can receive those files by clicking receive. And then in that dialog box, I would hit start and it will download the files and load them into the song. And then my local file, my local folder, the song on my computer will be updated and um, from the workspace. And then if I then add subsequent files, I can send them using the send um, option here. And then those will go up to the workspace and then the other collaborators will be able to do the same thing. They will be able to hit receive and receive those files and the, the song on their local computer will be updated. And then that way everybody keeps their songs um, on their local computers updated um, with whatever is new in the workspace. And that is how the collaboration process works. This is fantastic and is really basically the next step to the whole collaboration process that we have had in, in Studio One uh, just laterally with the last um, update to Studio One. Um, so this takes it to the next logical step where instead of having to only be able to collaborate online um, by using your workspace in your uh, in sphere.personas.com, you can now do it offline. So, well, you have to be online to send and receive files, 
but you can work remotely without needing the internet until you're ready to send or receive. Um, and so that means you don't have to kind of like say, okay, let's make sure that we are in the workspace at the same time so that we can send and receive in practically real time. Um, you don't need to do that with this new process. This is fantastic and is a very welcome addition to um, being able to collaborate with other Studio One uh, users and uh, to be able to work with other people on your songs uh, in an extremely easy way to synchronize across um, workspaces and across um, computers. So this is fantastic. And I hope you enjoy um, digging into it and using this. Um, I think you're going to find it extremely useful. I know that I already have found this extremely useful. Thank you very much for watching. If you have found this informative and helpful and useful, please hit the like button. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. Select all notifications. That way you don't miss a thing of all the rest of the Studio One 6 content that I'm going to be coming out with over the course of the next few weeks. There will be some Studio One 6 live streams where we will unpack some more of these features in some more detail and you'll have the opportunity to ask any questions that you might have uh, regarding Studio One 6 and features and functionality and all of that fun stuff. If you are up for those, then make sure you have hit that notification bell and you'll find out when those live streams are. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.